Exile Radio presents Review This, a brief look at contemporary and classic albums, movies, and video games, shared by Exile Radio DJs and staff. I'm Ian Waite, and today I'm looking at a PC game called Raft. Raft is a first-person perspective survival game where you play as someone lost at sea with nothing but a small wooden raft, a throwable hook, and a hungry shark swimming nearby. It's not as bleak as it sounds, though. There's a steady stream of debris floating by you that you can collect and use to expand your raft. Sometimes barrels filled with resources will float by, gifting you with extra materials and sometimes even food. This is the core gameplay loop of Raft. Collect resources, expand the Raft, and repeat. Collecting becomes much easier as you progress and unlock better tools and structures, and expanding the Raft is a constant battle against the shark, who likes to bite at the corners and whittle it down to nothing. Eventually, you come across islands and unique locations which contain better resources and schematics to further improve your equipment. Currently, the game has about a dozen smaller islands and five unique locations that are the basis of the game's story. However, the developers at Redbeat Studios are constantly working on new content to add to the game. Raft has simple graphics, with a slightly subdued color palette that fits really well in an environment that is meant to look like it's constantly awash in sunlight. It isn't the most realistic looking game, but that seems to have been an active choice for the style of the game. It's based on the Unity game engine, which is pretty common for a lot of indie games, and it runs perfectly on most systems. Currently, Raft has only been released on Steam, so it's only for PC, but it may be released on console somewhere down the line. Because it's on PC, the controls can be bound to any key or button according to each player's preference. There really aren't too many controls that are needed though. I use W, A, S, and D for movement, the spacebar to jump, F to interact with things, and left click on the mouse to use a tool. The game also has on-screen prompts, just in case you forget the controls. One place where Raft really shines is its sound. Every action in the game has its own sound, so it's easy to know exactly what's happening on your Raft just by listening. That, combined with an excellent soundtrack that perfectly captures the feel of the game, brings Raft to a whole new level. Overall, Raft is a solid survival game with satisfying gameplay, interesting locations to discover, great sound design and music, and simple but fitting graphics. I really enjoyed playing Rafts, and I hope that you will too. For Exile Radio's Review This, I'm Ian Waite.